What's going on, everyone? <clears throat> All right. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to a Sunday. We are going to be rehomeporting ourselves today. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe we can do it. We're doing... Cross country flight on top of it. Let's make sure everything is. Yeah, those are still in the air. That's at KFWA. So we're gonna have a long flight going in. All right, let's see if we can't before we pop this thing up. We're going to take a look again at Neofly. All right. That's up and running. This is up and running. I think we got everything going for once. I am going to pop into my live chat in case any of the mods or anyone wants to come in and chit chat while we're doing it. Yeet. But we're going to be doing a long flight today. All right. Studio mode. Take a look at Neofly, shall we? Whoops. Yeah, Neofly. So we have three airplanes because I sold two of the smaller ones. We are moving from gear in uh, Fort Wayne. All the way down here to Phoenix, where is it? Kingman, Arizona. So the reason for the move to Arizona, here it is, Kingman Airport here in Arizona. The reason why we're moving all the way out here is I originally chose Fort Wayne because that was local for me. And local wasn't terrible. I enjoyed local because I knew the area. I could look around and I could see, hey, I know this shit. And it was all good. Oh, shit. I just missed a call from them. Okay. Um, all right. I need to figure that out in a minute. Anyway. Um... What was I saying? Okay, so it was nice. The problem with um, Fort Wayne is that one, Indiana and generally the Midwest is extraordinarily flat. So I could see fields and I could see trees. Great. Not really. It made for moderately decent flying, but I wanted to see areas I don't like or that I like more is what I should say. And one thing that I have learned from living in San Diego, as well as the Inland Empire Riverside area, I like deserts. I like mountains. So that narrowed me down to New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Eastern, Southern Cal Southeastern California, that whole area. I knew that I wanted to be near the Grand Canyon because the Grand Canyon would be kind of fun to go fly and go see. There's a lot of mountains. There's a lot of desert, not that far away. So for bush uh, missions and that kind of stuff with a Neofly, it would be a lot of fun. It would be interesting to see how it was all going, interesting to, to play with. And all of that. So I was going to go in and out of Phoenix, but that's a lot of city. Tucson, um, same issue. A lot of city. There's a decent airport down here. It's a single airfield, but it's a pretty long airfield. Pretty decent down in Tucson, Arizona. Um, that could get me down to stuff down into Mexico and stuff that way. But uh, and then I started looking up. And I found Kingman. And we got the Kingman Airport up here, which is a regional airport. It does a lot of, in real life, it's got a lot of FBO stuff. 
it's got a lot of shipping stuff and commerce in and out, which means the lengths are really good. Um, my Airbus, I own three... I own a Beechcraft King Air 350i, Airbus A320, and a Citation CJ4. All of those will be at home flying in and out of Kingman Airport, especially with the Citation. I've got um, Las Vegas not far, Phoenix is not far, San Diego, Los Angeles. Like this whole area, especially for like regional flying and bouncing back and forth pretty decent for that kind of stuff as well as the mountains and all the other stuff that I like. So I have sent my Airbus and my Beechcraft King Air out. I sold my Grand Caravan and I sold my um, my P3 which was kind of like a it's a turboprop, single engine turboprop bush run um i sold those out the other idea that i had was going down here and doing like south florida cuba haiti dominican republic bahamas and get a lot of ocean stuff down in this area and i might redo that at some point actually i hadn't even thought about looking to see what kind of stuff is out down here That might be kind of interesting to see what kind of stuff is in and out of Miami. Where is the Miami airport? That might actually change up a little bit. Because if I go down to Miami, that would be much more tropical and give me islands and a lot of fun stuff that way to fly through. That might be kind of that might be kind of fun because I got the Bermuda up here. That would give me some South America stuff, some Gulf stuff, Cuba. You know what? Do we go for Arizona or do we go down south down here? All right. We're going to look up. We're going to find out where the Miami airport is. There it is. Okay. So there's Miami International. That's a lot of taxiing around. Now, is there a regional or an executive airport out of this area, I wonder? Let's see if there's a airport closer that might be in at least that's uh you know let's see Miami executive airport Oh, the yes, and there's also a skydiving center and all sorts of fun stuff down there. So that's the international down here. Here's the executive airport. Lots of small planes, some some jets kind of piled in here as well. So CJ four will be, I like this airplane airport better and it's South of Miami. So we still get some Miami stuff. It's not far from the Bay. It's not far from the Everglades. Uh, let's see. This is okay. Uh, 
Um, it is what's what's the airport called? Hang on, let me go back here. Uh, KTMB. KTMB. Take a look at this. We've got some search and rescue stuff. Oh, let me make sure this is all turned on, too, by the way. Uh, wildfire parachuting, I'll turn on. Search and rescue, I'll turn on. Helicopter, no. Don't want to do advertising. Don't want to do fires. The fires at some point might be fun. Search zones. LZ for landing out in the water stuff. We've got some... West, so we've got some VIP guys down here. If we were to now extend this out from bush to small trip, we've got all sorts of stuff all over the islands. Ah, this could be real, really cool all throughout Cuba. This could be, this could be it. All through Cuba, and then if we go to small hall or short halls, we got stuff down in the Dominican, we got stuff down in Panama, all over the Gulf up through here. It's a much shorter flight than all the way out. You know what? Let's do this. Let's rehome port. These guys will take a little bit longer because they're flying out to see staff, crew. Oh, that's just where I have them. Where do I have their missions? He's going to Phoenix. And he's going to Las Vegas, which is fine because I can just flip them and have them head back in and make some more money that way. So, yeah. We're going to go and rehome port ourselves to Florida. I like this idea to KTMB, huh? So that's where we are rehome porting to is KTMB. Now, let us go back to KFWA search. What do we have down in the Florida area that we can head off to? We got stuff over on this side in Naples, Fort Myers. That's not that far off from where we eventually want to go. For short haul, let's go to all and see if it pops up, populates anything else down in the tip of Florida. Does not look like it because we are still... Only a first officer. We are no we're not yet up to captain, so we can't do airline stuff. But that's okay. Um you fly into Naples, or we can fly ourselves into what is this? Pagefield? If we go down to Naples, this should be a pretty decent, depending on our approach vector, of where the, which, which, area, which one we want to land at. We could fly in over water or fly in elsewhere. But, or we could go up here and start off. Oh, that's a small, small airport. I think this one's going to be a little too small for a CJ4. So I think what we'll end up doing is flying into Naples. 84,000, that's not terrible. Two passengers, perfect for uh, for our uh, CJ4. All right, now now, 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 we got to fire up the game and figure out how long is this going to take us to run. It's going to be a lot lower than what we were flying at. Let's 
go ahead and populate this back up here. I'll make this a little bit smaller so that we can see the map a bit. I can still see my chat. And now we fire up Flight Sim. So we're rehome porting to Florida. All right, give me a second. All right, also gonna be keeping an eye on the football games today. Because that's important, isn't it? So yeah, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go full on. Instead of going full on desert, we are gonna go down and do full on. Uh, we're gonna go full on. Tropics, Central America, all that fun stuff. Hmm. All right, bring back up Neo Fly. KFWA to KAPF. I wonder how long of a flight. It's probably be, this will be my longest flight that I've done in flight sim. Hang on, apparently our packs at the local meat market are in, so I'm trying to coordinate this as well. To move some stuff in the garage. What time do they close? Let's do... Meet say close at six. New activities, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So that'll be a nice little eighty four thousand to add to everything else. I mean I've got I've got some money. Online services are being a bit funny today. All right, world map. Oh, other thing I got to do before we do go too far. I need to, because I was doing some recording earlier, we need to move sound and put this back to default. All right, there we go. Fly and save. All right, let's build up our flight. Wonder what connection loss, internet. Weird. All right, KFWA. And we are going to go ahead. Yeah, we'll figure that out in a minute. We are going to. Where did we say we were landing this thing at? We are going to. 
Uh oh. Oh, right. It's up here. Uh, K A P F. K A P F. Naples, okay, so that'd be about a two hour flight. So we're doing this run. I've never done an IFR flight, so we might try a wonderful little IFR flight. This will put us out over the ocean a bit. That could be kind of nice. The rest is kind of, this puts us the ocean a little bit over, but once we go over to Tallahassee, then we'll fly water and then we'll go in. That's definitely not a very straight in arrive. Oh, approach. Here we go. Um, successfully connected. Oh, that's wonderful news. Give me a second. Let's see what runway. If I don't do this and I run direct GPS, it wants me to come in runway 32. So high altitude, approach. What, 32 or 23? Did I just screw that up? No, it's, it says 32. Three comes in up that side, five comes in that side, 14 is that one, and 32 is down there. All right, so if we were to IFR in, what approach do we have? We have 23 and we have five. No, I don't like that one. Oh, here we go. Viewer five. That actually doesn't look half bad as a nice little shot in. Shoots us into Naples. This shoots us down this way. Direct departure from Fort Wayne. We have forty five thousand, forty four thousand, forty five thousand feet. And then it drops down and in. We could do that, or we could just do VOR to VOR, which could be a very interesting. And we're still 43,500. You know what? Let's do a VFR flight. I don't know enough about IFR yet to feel comfortable to do running IFR. So we're going to go VOR, VOR, which is fine because we're going to end up at. And then I don't know if we're doing five or if we're doing. Thirty two. This won't give us all the water stuff, but we'll be fine. Depending on how it has us come in, this will work because we'll still be able to see stuff. 
and we'll be flying directly over Tennessee so we'll be doing through the mountains there yeah this will work two hours and seven minutes I can deal with two hours all right let me throw on on my phone Paramount Plus so I can keep an eye on that 23 32 We've got it all loaded up. I'm flight conditions. Oh, let's find out what the weather's like down there real quick. Let's do this. Yeah. Excuse me. KPF uh weather. 60 degrees clear at Naples Airport. FWA and we are partly cloudy cold but decent we can do some live weather flying today people let's do flight conditions and let's go live fully live two hours quick drop us down we're still gonna be in we're gonna do AI traffic have live traffic we got uh, no multiplayer at the moment KFWA to KAPF in a Cessna. Now, here's the question. Should we do the startup procedure and taxing and all that? I vote actually yes. So these are the ramps. This is the executive parking. So this would be our executive area. And then I think this is small, small ramp parking. So we're going to do as if we're flying out on a private executive run we're gonna start here and then we will park let's see that's open air this looks like some executive stuff as does so this looks like the executive actually there's a lot of Cessnick style activity over in this area we could do ramp 22 parking set as arrival nope that's the fuel box we're not gonna go park in the fuel box should have known that was the fuel box uh, let's do down here then GA small. Um, okay, GA small works. Direct Vortivore or direct VOR. Ramp one thirteen parking. There we go. We got live weather, we've got this up. Viewer to VOR, so we'll run through all of this stuff. We're starting dry, we'll power everything up, and then we'll head out. By far the longest flight I have ever attempted. It's be about about a two hour flight. Looking forward to this one. This is going to be fun. All right. First thing we want to bring up, ATC. So our radio is off. We'll go through the checklist system. We're starting engine. We make sure that our parking brake is set off on. So parking brake set. Power is at idle. Generator switches are on. And they are on and on. Battery switch on. Avionics to dispatch. 
much. What we want to do is our starter button for right. Go ahead and pop open the cover. We'll watch our N2 here. Actually, we'll do it this way. We'll watch our N2 until it reaches 20%. Fire up. System, we'll keep an eye on it. God damn that sensitive today. Request the taxi to depart south. All right, we close the cover here. We fire up left engine. Keep a look at N2 and the percentage. Once it gets over 20, then we fire up the, the left engine. we go. Fire up left engine. We are good on engine two. We'll move, push our avionics up. We will set our lights to be, let's see, we want beacon, a logo, a taxi lights, and our strobe. Navigation lights will work as well for now. All right, our flight plan. KAPF. Direct to RID, direct to laws, direct to VXV, direct to ODF. Hello, RSW. And then we have our. Oops. Our approach. And I think we're all good there. We're going to go ahead and configure our altitude. I did not write down any of this stuff before we left. What was it, 
actually, did I even look to see if we had enough? I'm pretty sure I did. And we should do this at about 1,500 feet per minute. Flight director's on. Vertical navigation will be on. Um... And then we wait to flip the autopilot on until we go. Let us connect and fly. All right. Um, KAPF is the airport code. It is the Naples Municipal Airport in southeastern Florida. And then from there, we will be rehome porting to South Miami at a airport out of there. Or we might stay here at Naples, depending if I like the airport or not. If I like the airport here in Naples, we might stick around here instead of going over toward Miami. Um depending on how we like it. So we'll have to figure it out. Try to go to LAX? No, I'm not going west. I'm good. All right. Request taxi depart Ground south. Ground Dart 0831 with Echo request taxi for takeoff south departure. Uh, Shua is ATC coming through on the stream. Using taxiway Kilo cross runway 14 Echo Juliet cross runway 32 Juliet Bravo cross runway 27 Bravo Alpha. Contact tower on 119er decimal, 11 ready. Taxi to and hold short runway 5 via taxiway Kilo cross runway 14 Echo Juliet cross runway 32 Juliet Bravo cross runway 27 Bravo Alpha Dart 0831. So we're going to get a pushback. Why don't I just go right here instead of doing that whole long around bit? It makes no sense to me. We're going to cheese this a little bit. Whatever. Um, ground services, request pushback. Ground Dark 0831 requesting pushback. Dark 0831 pushback request accepted. Ground Dark 0831 requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Dark 0831, your request no, no, has been transmitted. No, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Ground Dark 0831 requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the right. Dark 0831, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Dark 0831 requesting the end of pushback. Dark 0831 request to end pushback received. Okay, so taxi and hold short runway 5 using taxiway K cross runway 14 East, J cross runway 32, JB cross runway 27, contact tower 11. 
9.1 when ready. <clears throat> All right. Yes, I know this. Is there a way that I can turn? Actually, let's turn. Let's see if I can turn that off real quick. Uh, is it general options? I'm gonna run ultra until this thing yells at me that it doesn't want me doing that anymore. Um, Eh, I don't care. Now we're going down to Florida. Are you home porting? We're going down to Florida to rehome port to Florida. that this thing turns all the airport, all the lines and everything white. I'm so used to the Garmin system. I'm not used to not having the, uh, the faux airport and stuff down here on the screen if anyone knows if that's something that I can turn back on I would love that there's a lot of stuff I'm still learning on how to do in this game so if I miss out on something or I screw something up please forgive me because I'm not I'm not a pilot So I've never done certain things. I'm sure I'll mess stuff up in procedure along the way. I'm still learning. I'm not an actual pilot. I just do this for fun. Just kind of a casual simmer. Look, it's back almost where completely where I started from. <laughs> Oops, I did not hold short runway five. Probably tune in the tower and listen to them yell at me. I 
mean, I'm already flying for two hours. Going to LAX would add another hour, hour and a half onto that. Second quarter, Kansas City is winning 14 to 3 at this current time. Ooh, oops. And I'm going a little too fast. There we go. Does this go in real time? Yup. All real time. But lots of chatting time. Going to Florida, about two, a little over two hours. It's gonna be about six o'clock by the time I land. Thank goodness I've learned how to use uh, autopilot. Oh, and hills. I have uh, a nice little. I changed up my my tail and my call sign and all that stuff up to something that means even more to me. Or at least, at least it means something to both of us. My tail number is N0831 Hotel. So November 0831 Hotel. Oh, what? Boy, I forgot how long taxing around Fort Wayne International Airport was. Should have just started up on the, uh, started up on there. Or up on the, gotten in the air faster. But this is okay. Well, 0831 is our anniversary, and H is the first letter of your name. Charlotte's worse? Yeah. November, because that's what tail numbers start with in the U.S., or at least in this region of area. And then 0831 Hotel. And it's not an actual tail number because tail, the first number should be 1 through 9 out of 0. Oh, November 8? No, uh, November is... N. It's it's the yeah like N for November. What's going on, Red Panda? How are you this evening? We are reporting our home base in Neo Flight from the flat and snowy Midwest to sunny South Florida so that we can do a lot more stuff with water, with the bush stuff, bush missions, and everything else. I was going to go out to the Southwest, but I decided that Florida and the Bahamas would be kind of cool too. I'm doing pretty well though. Still learning the nuances of flying, but we're getting there. I 
And it could swap us out. We could go southwest still. I don't know. You know what? I might actually just do that. Give me a second. We are going to do that. And we're also going to start on the runway this next time. So let's go ahead. We're going to kill this. We're going to kill this. And we are going to go to the southwest. So... Yeah, we're going to go ahead because both of my other planes are already flying southwest. So let's do this. Give me a second here. Reopen Neo fly up. Yeah, we're going to end up back down here in Kingman. So we're just going to go ahead and take 73AZ. I think this is a big enough airport to handle the CJ-7. Oh, no, it's not. What are the missions do we have around this area that's not too far? Kingman's here. What do you look like? You look like a tiny thing. What was that other one that was halfway decent? Is that here by Snowflake? Taylor Airport? No, it was not. It's one of these that didn't look so bad. You're just a... Yikes. I guess we could go up Utah and then fly down. That looks like it could work. Sixty nine Victor. Yeah, let's do a sixty nine Victor. All right. Sorry, right, we're swapping out this time. I will be, however, the VIP flight. The sixty nine Victor. KFWA runway five. Well, that's a weird runway to be flying us out of is on five. That's why it was taking me so long. So they are having to fly out of five, huh? Interesting. The winds must have shifted here locally. Uh, 69 Victor. I might accelerate Huntington Municipal. Huntington, we need to uh, push a bit more fuel into this thing. Ah, eh, that'll work. Direct GPS. 42,500 feet. 2 hours and 41. That's not terrible. So we'll flip around and then head out. So sorry, I have to go. I have to set this set some stuff up. All right, that's fine, man. Thank you for coming out and saying hi. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to go ahead and go f uh, runway to runway. Um, This will actually work. Let's do, a, let's do a VOR to VOR. I still think we're running it at 42.5. Yeah, we're still running 42.5 until... RGL till Eker. Okay, hang on. Let me jot this down. Just so that we have a little bit of an idea of what we're doing here. So. We're running at 42.5. So we got 1700. By IKK. One should be twenty five eight. BDF. Forty one five fifty. 
And then we are 42.5 until AEKR. Thirty five eight PC. We should be at ninety one five. We're ninety one fifty, and then landing at fifty nine hundred feet in elevation. The possible blow up the plane, probably. All right, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and repull and port. Instead of going south of Florida, we're going west. My other two planes are already flying west. We might as well do that. All right. Um, oh, one thing I want to look at is what is the weather like in at 69V? Forty-three degree Fahrenheit and sunny in Huntington, Utah. Um, let me look up before we do this. I want to verify and make sure on airnav.com 69 Victor, the runway size. Oh yeah. 4,000 feet. We're, we're, we're good. It's a little shorter, but as long as it's like 30 something to land the CJ four. So we'll be okay. All right. Five to 26. We have VOR to VOR. We didn't really lose that much time because I'm not taxing this time around. Good. Tower Dark 0831 ready for east departure at runway 5. Dark 0831 altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 and 0, 0, 6 at 7. Departure to the east approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 5. You got a nice little CJ4. Runway 5, Dark 0831. Not yet. We want to run this up. 25,800 to start with. synchronize that to my current altitude that was not a good idea I'm gonna say 25.8 uh, flight directors on vertical speed at about 1500 feet per minute navigation mode on Altitude hold, no. All right, um, we'll just wait until we're up and do that. We get flaps 15. We have break off. We're cleared for lift off. Let's go. Continue for east. 
departure. Dark zero eight three one leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. Tower dark zero eight three one frequency change. On approach, requesting Class C airspeed transition. Cessna C-25C, two miles northeast of Fort Wayne, 2,800 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Dark 0831 approach. Squawk 0671. Squawk 0671, Dark 0831. Dark 0831, radar contact three miles northeast of Fort Wayne, 3,800 feet. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Maintain on navigation. Cleared through the Charlie airspace, Dark 0831. Now I'm pretty sure. Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and turn on our autopilot. Crank this up a little bit. It should turn us once we get back on course. Stuff, barometric pressure. Yeah, that's going to straighten us up. Okay. So then we're just keeping an eye on here to when we get to. IKK. Frequency change approved. All right, frequency change approved. Squawk one two zero zero. Frequency change approved. Dark zero eight three one. And now we're in Chicago Center. Chicago Center. Dark zero eight three one is type Cessna C twenty five C three miles southeast of two India November two one zero thousand five hundred feet. Request flight following. Dark zero eight three one Chicago Center. Is there a place to, for people that have, that have played this game and especially on the CJ, is there a place to input in the squawk? Squawk 4262 Dark 0 Is that something that happens? Dark 0 radar contact one mile southeast of 8 India Sierra to 11,900 feet. Altimeter 200 decimal 902. Roger, Dark 0831. I should probably look that up. If there's a, something I should be inputting in for the squawk. The squawk code. God, that looks gorgeous down there, doesn't it? Lots of white. A lot of snow and fields. So yeah, IKK, by the time we get IKK, we should be at 25,800, and then by BDF, we should be up to 41,550, or after, by before BDF, by after BDF, then we can pop up to 42,5, which is our run all the way out until EKR, and then we should drop back down to 38, or 35,8, 
And then we get down to Puck and we're at 9150 and then land at about 8. Looks like Fort Wayne. Yeah, it is Fort Wayne. Or south of Fort Wayne by now. We just took off from Fort Wayne. We are relocating to the south. Um, relocating down to the south west here. I'll pull this back up. We are flying out of Fort Wayne. So we're actually out here by now. We are currently... Oh, center on plane. We are currently heading to Utah. Airbus 369R, please expedite your descent 11,000. What's up, K-Planes? How you doing? Uh, we're heading to Huntington in Utah. And then from there, we'll pick up a new thing, but we're eventually heading for Kingman, um, Arizona to rehome port and home base out in Kingman. We've got... Um, our Airbus that we own is flying out to Las Vegas at the moment. And the Beechcraft King Air is Airbus heading to Phoenix. Did my green laser Descent shine through your shield? I'm doing well, K-Planes. I'm doing quite well. So, yeah. We're going from the Midwest, which is flat and everything. And I want to go do all my bush Descent stuff down in the Southwest. So, eventually we'll end up in Kingman, which is our plan to relocate out of either Kingman or Flagstaff. Um, the Kingman Airport, I think, is a little bit better. Um, so, this is the Kingman Airport. It is a cargo terminal, mostly, as well as some executive stuff in that way, versus Flagstaff. Which I'm trying to remember where the Flagstaff, yeah, Flagstaff Airport. It's a little bit smaller. It's got a decent sized runway, but it's mostly a small, um, really small Airbus airport. So we are we settled on Kingman, Arizona. It's close enough to the desert stuff that I like. It's got a lot of mountains. It's just going to end up looking a lot nicer. Airbus 59 Juliet. Please and, your yeah. 13, so we've got about a three hour flight ahead of us. 133 Airbus 369er. So, yeah. We now fly. Um, for settings in the game, um, air traffic is AI generated, but weather Airbus is all live. So we got live weather and then generated aircraft or generated uh, air traffic and stuff. So not terrible. One three three decimal nine or Airbus five nine or Juliet. Not terrible at all. Doc zero eight three one contact Chicago Center on one one nine er decimal eight five. One one nine er decimal eight five. Dark zero eight three one. One one nine er decimal eight five for dark zero eight three one. Chicago Center dark zero eight three one flight level two zero five. Airbus eight nine er seven please expedite your descent one zero thousand feet. Dark 0831 Chicago Center, continue to India Kilo Kilo as planned. Continue to eat up. Oh, hey, K Plains, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate you. That's what I forgot to do this week. All right. Uh, I need to make a note to make sure that I get my alerts back up and running again now that YouTube is playing nice with them again. But thank you, K Plains, for the sub. I appreciate it. 
you'll see me playing a lot of this and a lot of RuneScape because I'm weird. And a lot of Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen when it comes up. in a quite nice little area flying out. Testing it, one echo, please expedite your descent 5,000 feet. We're almost up to our 28. Airbus 8, 25 8. Please expedite your descent 10,000 feet. And an India Kilo Kilo, and then off from there. Gorgeous this game is. So, where have we passed already here? About halfway through the state of Indiana at the moment. We're passing over Rochester, Indiana. Here in a few. Speed. There we go. We were going a little on the fast side there. You're yelling at me over speed there for a minute. Cessna 81 Echo is getting yelled at by ATC. That's always fun. That's what I should do at some point. I should try doing the live ATC thing at some point. That might be kind of fun.
I believe I can travel to these different points. But I don't know how that plays. Oh, you know what? I could probably ask in their Discord. find out in Neofly's Discord. Going to 123 decimal 85 Airbus Juliet Foxtrot Delta. Cessnagate 1 Echo, please expedite your descent 5,000 feet. I don't think it does, but I want to make sure before I do something stupid, like skip ahead, that it's not going to freak out and freeze out my uh, my Neofly game and mess everything up. All right, we're halfway to IKK. India Kilo Kilo. And then from there, we'll push us up to 41550. And then we'll push from there and see what happens. Airbus November 9 or 3, 4, 5, Vector, Chicago Center, continue as planned. Sim rate disabled. Alright, uh, settings. Sim rate disabled. Echo, please expedite your descent 5,000 feet. Airbus 45 Victor, please expedite your climb flight level. Sim rate bandit to control the sim rate? Oh, what is sim rate bandit? Oh, that could be interesting to find out. Chicago Center Landmark, 2 Okay, so there is a sim rate bandit. Landmark 2 Niner 8 Niner, Chicago Center, continue as planned. So apparently sim rate is allowed. Should I YOLO this and see what happens? Never used it before, but I'm just kind of curious. Or should we just, eh, we'll just do it live. We did not want to zoom in like that. Zoom in, in out of this game really messes stuff up. Airbus 45 Victor, please expedite your climb flight level 300. Okay, cool. Goodbye, Seed. Nice having you around. You have a great day. Dark 0831 contact Chicago Center on 132 decimal 9 or 5. Good day. Uh, 132 decimal 9 or 5. 132 decimal 9 or 5, Dark 0831. Chicago Center, Dark 0831, flight level 260. Dark 0831, Chicago Center, continue to India Kilo Kilo as planned. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Alright, once I get to... 
once I get to where I'm going, then I can set my my uh, fuel costs based on the paperwork or based on the the nav the flight stuff for the airport that I'm at. So that should be good. Alright, well, I should be able to, to skip Sim, which I might try doing and seeing what happens. Once I get up to cruising altitude, I might fast travel a little bit and see what happens with the game. Chicago Center Landmark 4813 Flight Level 260. Get some clouds out that way. Farms, some other fun stuff. Where are we at now? Almost out of Indiana, heading into uh, Illinois. It's a little weird flying this way, but I'm enjoying it. Chicago Center, generic November 1777, Echo Flight Level 260. Generic November 1777, Echo, Chicago Center, continue this up. Change this. Citation CJ4 KFWA to six nine V. Chicago Center Cessna Charlie Golf Delta Alfa Romeo five thousand eight hundred feet. Cessna Charlie, Golf Delta Alfa Romeo, There we are. Yeah, CJ4 KFWA to 69 Victor 69V in Neoflight. There we go. We can change that up a little bit. Ooh, we're gonna be an IKK here before long. Down where we've been, where we're going. All that fun stuff. Report them in sight. Generic 77 Echo Traffic is 9 o'clock, 4 miles at flight level 260 Delta TBM 9. Report them in sight. Landmark 4813 Traffic in sight. Echo 
Zero decimal one two five dark is zero eight three one. One two zero decimal one two five for dark zero eight three one. Chicago Center, dark zero eight three one flight level two six zero. Dark zero eight three one Chicago Center. Continue to India Kilo Kilo as planned. And we're in Illinois. We've made it. We are almost Thanks, Bub. I appreciate it. How are you doing this afternoon or evening, wherever you might be? We are currently en route to Utah from northeastern Indiana. All right, and we just switched from IKK heading to BDF, so now we go up to 41,550. Oh, that's Please expedite your descent 8,000 feet. Forty-one five fifty. Yes, I use. I have a uh, Satec X fifty-two. Or I guess it's Logitech X fifty-two system. Uh, what did I say? Forty-one five fifty. Forty-one by fifty. Sorry, I was getting that set up. Uh, yes, I use um, the X two. Uh, where was the traffic at? Two o'clock, four miles? Yeah, I see it. Dark 0831 have the traffic. Okay, that's kind of cool. Generic 778 no contact, Chicago Center on 123 decimal 75. I don't Good think day. we're going to clip. I'm going up. We're going to go ahead and expedite this a little bit higher. Uh, 123.75 dark 0832. 123.75 for dark 0831. Okay. 
camera. All right, that's kind of cool. That's cool. College right now doing homework. Just got a five minute break. Do more. Yeah. What, uh, what are you studying? BDF and then OTM OVR EAR HTC AKO RLJ EKR the AKR is where we start dropping down to 358 and then by puck we need to be at 91.5 so Okay, so we're getting up to our cruising altitude now. That should be enough time to get down there. Chicago Center, Dark Zero Eight Tree One, Flight Level Tree One Five. Dark Zero Eight Tree One, Chicago Center. Continue to Bravo Delta Foxtrot as planned. Yep, I figured. So, how are my other we'll pop back over for a few minutes? We'll pop back over to Neofly. We're here. Uh, citation CJ4, but thank you so much. I appreciate it, Bob. I really, really appreciate that. Our. King Air is head still head to Phoenix. It's over Kansas City. And then our Airbus is doing pretty well heading to Las Vegas. Doing pretty good. And ATC is yelling at a bunch of people still. I appreciate that, Bob. I should add in citation in this, shouldn't I? Oh, it is citation. I do have citation CJ4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, good. Just want to make sure that I had that up. No, because I'm just continuing. Okay. So after BDF, then I go up to 
Yep, you can get hit with all sorts of stuff. I've got it turned on, but today was kind of a nice day, so I figured why not. It's a beautiful day, though. One two four decimal five five. Dark zero three one. Six three alpha. Please expedite your descent nine thousand feet. One two four decimal five five for dark zero eight three one. Seven zero nine. Chicago Center. Dark zero eight three one. Thirty seven thousand. Charlie Foxtrot. Please expedite your descent. Flight level three two zero. Generic Yankee Mike X three. You are twenty thousand feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain fifteen thousand feet altimeter. Tree zero decimal zero four. Chicago Center Dark zero eight three one flight level three eight zero. Dark zero eight three one Chicago Center. Continue to Bravo Delta Foxtrot as planned. Yes. Yeah, you can hit with blizzards. You can hit with hurricanes. You can hit all sorts of stuff in this game. If it's in the game, I'm sure it can. I don't know why it wouldn't. I don't know why it would. I don't think I could fly through the sun going boom, but we could give it a shot. See, now you're just going crazy. Now you're just acting like a crazy person. Boy, this ATC guy is just going crazy, isn't he? We're looking like out the window right now. We're still looking pretty good. We're going up in altitude still, but we're almost to 41,550. Almost to our cruising altitude. What is the cruising altitude for CJ4? Because this is seeming to. Citation, CJ4, cruising altitude. Oh, 45,000 feet. Alright, so I should be able to get there. Then. There for a little bit, I was having problems getting up there, but I think that was just a pocket. One two three Good decimal day. seven five dark zero eight three one. One two three decimal seven five dark zero eight three one. Cessna Niner four seven please expedite. Generic zero four Lima contact Chicago Center on one two zero decimal one two five. Good day. Cessna two Niner X ray please expedite your descent nine thousand feet. Expedite expedite expedite. Chicago Center dark zero eight three one flight level four one zero. Cessna zero nine er Charlie, please expedite your descent five thousand feet. Dark zero eight three one Chicago Center, continue to Bravo Delta Foxtrot as planned. Cessna seven three one, please expedite your descent six thousand feet. All right. One two zero decimal Bravo one two five. Delta Fox. Fox. Okay, so now we're about ready to level Chicago out Center at forty one five. Golf Papa X Ray Lima, flight level three two zero. Cessna four zero Lima, please expedite your descent nine thousand feet. Cessna two nine er Alpha, please expedite your descent eight thousand feet. Airbus Charlie, Golf Papa X Ray Lima, Chicago Center, continue as planned. Generic eight five six, please expedite your descent nine thousand. Ooh, Kings beat the Penguins today four three. That's a good news in hockey. Charlie, please expedite your descent 5,000 feet. 
Okay, so now... Oh, wait. No, 41.5. We're going to go ahead and keep this for now. So once we hit BDF, we'll go up to 54 FPM. Jesus, that's pretty good. Cessna 09er, Charlie, please expedite your descent 5,000 feet. Cessna November 025 feet. Take off of 3,400 feet and a landing of 2,900 feet. So, if we look at AirNav, uh, look at 69 Victor, we see that the runway length is 3,640. Oh wait, uh, two six, forty eight forty, and we needed how much space to land or to take off thirty four ten. So either one of the the two runways that we're going to at sixty nine Victor, we can land and take off from both. Of them. We're eventually rehome porting to what was the name of that one that we're eventually going to home port to? Dark zero eight three one contact Chicago Center on one two four decimal five five. K I G M one two four five five. One two four decimal five five. Dark zero eight three. Let's see the last one. Cessna 40 Lima, please expedite your descent 9,000 feet. Generic 856, please expedite your descent 9,000 feet. Chicago Center, Generic Charlie, Golf Yankee Mike X-ray 15,000 feet. Generic Charlie, Golf Yankee Mike X-ray, Chicago Center, altimeter 30 decimal 04, continue as planned. Cessna 09 er Charlie, traffic is 2 o'clock. Jesus, let me hand off already. Well, these guys do not give you much time. One, there two, we go. Four decimal five five dark zero eight three one. Jesus. Chicago Center Seven, dark zero eight, zero eight three, three one, one flight one, level four, four one five. Dark zero eight three one Chicago Center continue to Bravo Delta Foxtrot as planned. Landmark five eight. KIGM is where we're going to rehome for the next three two zero. So Seven, let's two, look nine, up Alpha, KIGM. Airport Flight information and uh, the runways there are. Your descent, 4, feet. Generic five six X ray, please expedite your descent seven thousand feet. Airbus Papa X ray Lima, please expedite your descent. Flight level three two zero. Sixty eight twenty seven six seven twenty five. So yeah, both of those runways are very very well well nice enough for this, and I think I can even run the air. The Airbus in that order, too. I can already tell this is going to be another annoying one where I'm not going to be able to get a word in edgewise when it's time. That's not going to be good.
Chicago Center, Cessna November 0336 Golf, 800 feet. Cessna November 0336 Golf, Chicago Center, altimeter 30 decimal 04, continue as planned. Generic 56 X-ray, please expedite your descent 7,000 feet. Airbus 907 Whiskey, please expedite your descent flight level 230. Landmark 3313, please expedite your descent flight level 300. Airbus Whiskey Charlie Foxtrot, please expedite your descent flight level right. 320. Keep that up. Oh, now we're heading off and we raise up to Down to forty thousand five hundred. Landmark three three one three. Please expedite your descent. Flight level three zero zero. Airbus Whiskey Charlie Foxtrot. Please expedite your descent. Flight level three two zero. Descent and maintain seventeen thousand feet. Airbus Niner Seven Whiskey. Airbus Whiskey Charlie Foxtrot. Contact Chicago Center on one one eight decimal seven five. Good day. Going to 118.75 Airbus Whiskey Charlie Fox. So it looks like we're just going to run at about 40,000. Please expedite your descent 7,000 feet. Airbus 907 Whiskey, you are 72 miles northwest. Descend and maintain 11,000 feet. Expect ILS runway 29 or approach via an A transition. Clear to an A. Landmark 3313 contact Chicago Center on 135 decimal 6. Good day. Alright, so we're going to cruise our altitude at 42,000 because doing it too high was causing problems. Now we're going to give this a shot. Now, now that we're at this. We're going to see if this, how this screws us up. We're going to go and fast forward ourselves. One, three, five, decimal six for landmark three, three, one, three. To here. Uh, let's see what this does to my... I'm afraid this is going to end up causing problems. This was just a test. I might run it back a little bit. Once it loads up, I'll run it back a little bit further and see if it... How that works. Oh shit, it took me way up here. Wait, where am I? RLG. Oh, almost to EKR. Okay. Oh, we made the jump. So now we are... Okay, so it did work with Neofly. So that works. Now we're over Colorado. All right. Yes, I know. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. This is going to get changed up again, though. To about 40,000 feet.
4,005. That's fine. Center Dark 0831 is type Cessna C 25C 15 miles west of 20 Victor Flight Level 410. Request flight following Dark 0831 Denver Center Squat 1446 Landmark 1144 Please expedite your descent flight level 340 Landmark 126 Please expedite your descent flight level 310 Landmark 9063, please expedite your descent flight level 270. Landmark 6528, please expedite your descent flight level 310. Okay, so Landmark that does work. Please expedite your descent flight level I just let off an hour or so of time. I probably won't do that again for a while until I'm doing a large, like a really, really large flight somewhere, but... I'm glad I now know that works with Neofly as well as in game. So, I said I probably won't do it again anytime soon, but for now, we now know it works. Oh, okay, so EKR is where we start dropping. 35.8. And then... We'll be in... Pot. And then we'll be in for... Landing. Going to one two eight decimal six five landmark six five two eight. Though I should probably look at is that sixty nine Victor? Have the traffic. Probably look to see how that runway is ran. Landmark nine zero six three. Please expedite your descent. Flight level two seven zero. What is that? 69 Victor? Landmark 9 or 336, please expedite your descent. Flight level 320. Landmark 5020, please expedite your descent. Flight level 250. Landmark 1144, traffic is 10 o'clock, 4 miles at flight level 305. Got her TBM 9. Report them in sight. Landmark 1144, traffic is 8 o'clock, 4 miles at flight level 320, Dahmer TBM 9. Report them in sight. Landmark 9336, traffic is 9 o'clock, 3 miles at flight level 300, Dahmer TBM 9. Report them in sight. Landmark 1144, please expedite your descent, flight level 340. So it is a solid east-west Landmark one way it looks like. Please expedite your descent, flight level 270. Landmark 9 or 336, please expedite your descent, flight level 320. Landmark 5020, please expedite your descent, flight level 250. Landmark 9 or 336, traffic is 10 o'clock, 3 miles at flight level 340, Dr. TDM 9. Report them in sight. Landmark 1144 so have the DRTBM 9 in sight. Ninety true or 270. Landmark 1144, please expedite your descent flight level 340. Alright, that's fine. Once we get closer, we'll find out exactly what, uh... What is that, stall warning? Hmm. Because the jump up into those different things. Yes, I had a stall warning. Dark 0831, please acknowledge. Uh, what was I doing? Squawk 1446, Dark 0831. Dark 0831, radar contact 22 miles southwest of 5 Charlie Oscar 8, flight level 405. Roger, Dark 0831. Dark 
One three four decimal five. Dark zero three one. one, one four, four, please expedite your descent. Soon Flight as it lets me, I will. Landmark nine or zero six three, please. Okay, so the biggest Flight problem with making those jumps like that is that Landmark it'll give me a star three, warning in the game and it causes zero. me to lose my bonus. Landmark five zero, so zero, please expedite your descent. Flight level two five zero. That becomes an issue. Um, if you're trying to get all the bonuses and all of that stuff, so. Descent and maintain flight level three zero zero landmark seven eight one four. Landmark four zero one nine er. Please expedite your descent flight level three zero zero. Denver Center Dark zero eight three one is passing flight level four zero five. Climbing flight level four two five. Landmark 39010, please expedite your descent flight level 300. Dark 0831 Denver Center, continue to Echo Kilo Romeo as planned. Ooh, there's a wonderful little turbulence going on. Landmark 1414, please expedite your descent flight level 320. I don't think it's going to like me being at 42.5. It was giving me master alarms. So let's try it anyway and see if. Denver Center Landmark if that's fixed. 1144 is passing flight level 340, climbing flight level 340. Landmark 1144 Denver Center, continue as planned. Let's see how far up I can go Landmark before it yells at. <laughs> Landmark, my foot up his ass. Landmark, one four one four, please expedite your descent flight level 320. <laughs> yeah, sometimes live ATC is, uh... Denver Center, Dark 0831, cancel flight following. Dark 0831, Denver Center, cancellation received. Squawk 1200, frequency change approved. Now, is it going to still yell at me? Oh, here we go. There we go. I can switch this to the comm and we're fine. Dear Lord. Yep. I can't do that. A second. I don't remember where my. Control is for comms. Descend and maintain flight level three nine zero generic three nine six. Somewhere there's a way to do it. I don't know where it is on this particular airplane. That's data and menu. That's barometric. That's my speed. Your descent flight level 330. Landmark 1144, please expedite your descent flight level 340. Landmark 430. Oh, Alright, we're gonna calm off for a 
like I don't mind it, but I can tell I can I understand why it would be the most annoying sound in the world. Because that was definitely, uh, yeah, I, I, I could see that. All right, well, we found our comms. So once we get to the point where we need to use them again, like we're getting in close to our location, then I will swap them at that time. That's not bad looking. I am going to go back up to the flight following though here in a minute. But we're almost to EKR, which is the beginning of our descent. we start turning then we will also drop our altitude down to 35.8 there we are speed Boy, Denver is... This, this whole Denver comm thing is just crazy busy. It hasn't even popped up. I can't even do anything with that. Alright, so we are at... We just passed EKR, and Puck, we need to start descending again. Hmm. So it's the next in our flight plan, right?
Yep, to Puck. I think around DECL See I don't under what I don't know is when I need to start popping some of this other stuff. Uh-oh, the whole thing just froze. Let's give it a minute and see if it comes back. Otherwise, this could be bad. Am I? Yeah, I'm still coming through. Oh, man. Did Flight Sim freeze on me again? If that's the case, I might just do push myself over there. Dagnabbit. Give it a minute. I should have known playing with a bunch of stuff was going to end up getting me. Okay, let me look this up real fast and see if there's something that shows... Responding. I have tons of RAM, so it's not a RAM issue. CPU keeps fluctuating with it, so I mean a lot of these guys are saying that it might come back, it might not.
looking to see if there's a another way of doing this. Everything's up to date. All right, so let's do details. We're, we're troubleshooting on the fly, people. We're frozen, and I'm trying to see if we can't do this on the fly. Still not responding. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, well. Okay, so what do we do here then? Should we just kill it and keep it running? Or should we... I mean, I don't think I have much of a choice at this point, but to kill it. That's unfortunate because the neophyte will crash out too. All right, give me a second, guys. We're restarting some of this up, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait. There we are. That's unfortunate. We're also going to refire up Neofly while we're at it. Man! We ran for a while. One of the things it said to try to do is run it in admin mode, see if that fixes the problem. But as of right now, we're still in KFWA. Okay. While this is all happening, we're going to go back because... This wonderful thing decided to reset everything. So, what we're going to do is we are going to set up an automatic flight. We're going to hire someone to fly out to here. And we're going to go to Kingman and we're just going to start doing some other stuff out at Kingman and see what kind of missions are out there. So first off, we need to go to staff and crew and we need to hire ourselves someone who is an E. E rated pilot. Who's at least a first officer. to our citation we need to pump her full of fuel I think that should be enough fuel to get us or to get her to here uh, I need four zero seven eight five okay 
Oh. And we'll give him a few extra... We'll, we'll, we'll give a few extra, a little bit of extra fuel. Uh, 73 AZ. Choose here, here, and here. All right, and that's going. So now we're going to just transfer ourselves and move ourselves to KIGM, which is Kingman Airport in Kingman, Arizona, and then we'll figure it out from there. So let us... KIGM, right? That's, that's what I said it was, KIGM. There we go. Right, KIGM. Uh, KIGM. KIGM pay. It's going to cost me $5,000 to move to KIGM, but that's fine. All right. What do we have going on here? We can buy ourselves a few planes here. We could do the Skyhawk. Let's go ahead and reset this to bush trips. Kingman, here we are. We've got some stuff that we can do over here. We got some other stuff up here. I would like to... There's KIGM. There's some photo opportunities. Not too much bush flying as in like, oh, there's a drop zone. 29 miles. Emergency land for the medic. All right. What does the cap 10 C or the pits look like? They're both a props. Captain C or Pit. This is still loading up. We'll keep this up for now. Oh, I was in. Uh, what is the D D D D D D D? Oh, here we are. All right, citation. So we've got the Savage Cub. What were the two? It was the, oh, the Cap 10, we're having Cap 10. That's okay. And what's the pit? Oh, it's one of these. Yeah, I don't want to buy one of those at the moment. I wouldn't mind having a Pilatus. Or an X Cub. I mean, I guess I could do it with the 172. Until I get a Grand Caravan. All right. Uh, KIGM. Oh, we're look at this here. All right. Uh, KIGM Kingman. this going to show the game at all or is it because it's not all right well i guess we'll go back onto this then we can buy a Cessna skyhawk Heed has Grand Caravan, which I wouldn't mind owning a Grand Caravan, actually. Let's do that. Let's go to Heed. 415 to Keed. We can buy ourselves the Grand Caravan. 
bonanzas, and that wouldn't be a half bad airplane to own either. But we're going to go ahead and buy the Grand Caravan. And then we want to fly back to Kingman, which is here. Key to Kingman on a VIP run. We'll fly that in a Grand Caravan. That should be a nice little trip for us. Okay, let's get uh, Flight Sim back up and running. Because for some reason it wasn't a minute ago. All right, so now we're going uh, edit. Grand Caravan. K-E-E-D-2, K-I-G-M. As we wait impatiently for the game to load up. So I got to do some more troubleshooting before we do a long flight. Looks like about an hour and a half is about the longest flights. Yeah, excuse me. Jeez. Okay. So. We've got my three airplanes making the trip over. We're going to fly the Grand Caravan. On a VIP trip. Uh, remove that message. Is this going to even pop up like it did before, or is this just going to be a pain in the by butt? There it goes. It's working this time. Well, we're having some issues with the online stuff. I wonder if that might be what it is. Maybe I lost connection to the online services for a minute. It might be, it might not be. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. All right, here we go, world map. We are going to fly the Grand Caravan from KED Needles. To KIGM. We're going to switch offline for now. It says arrival 11 to 17. 17 minute flight. This is more like it. In a grand caravan. Let's figure out what livery we want to use for this thing. That's one thing I should do at some point. Is I want to build my own custom liveries or get someone else to do it if they're going to do it. That's a decent one. I like this one. There's nothing wrong with my internet connection. Uh, flight conditions preset to clear. AI that. Multiplayer is offline. We're going to do it in the middle of the afternoon. Maybe we should do it right around, say, 4.30 local time? Maybe that's a little too late. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So, needles to Kingman. Let's do it.
we are going to have to modify the payload for our missing payload that we have, but that's fine. I'll just use the payload slider for that. Needles wouldn't be a bad place to have a... Uh... Oh, that's not bad looking livery at all. All right, we need to get our weights. Now, oh, here we go. Payload weight. There we go. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're going to depart out to the north. Actually, we're going to depart out west. Or east, rather. Kilo Echo Echo Delta traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra taking off runway 11 east departure. Did I not change? Eh, yeah, whatever. We did not. Hey, Cracked, how you doing? Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is type Cessna Caravan 1 mile southeast of Kilo Echo Echo Delta 1,500 feet. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Los Angeles Center. Squawk 1473. It's not VOR. I didn't do the VOR, I didn't do that. Okay. That's fine. Generic 051, please expedite your climb 5,800 feet. We'll just play this with headings. 
Los Angeles Center, Landmark 9263, 3000 feet. Landmark 9263, Los no. Angeles Center, altimeter 29. I need to think that with the mountains, I need to figure out. We're just going to go up to 3,500 feet for now. Cause... Landmark 8781, please expedite your climb 3,900 feet. This way a little bit to get back on course. Generic zero five one, please expedite your climb five thousand eight hundred feet. Landmark nine or two six three, climb and maintain nine thousand eight hundred feet. I have not figured out all the nuances for this new airport. Climb and maintain nine thousand eight hundred feet. Landmark nine or two six three. Yeah, that'll work. Landmark 8781, please expedite your climb 3,900 feet. Landmark 8781, traffic is 10 and Davos. Clock 4 miles at 5,800 feet, generic. All right, Report let's see if this one will actually four, Papa, please expedite your climb down. 4, feet. Generic 051, please expedite your climb 5,800 feet. I wonder if that's... On my list. Landmark 8781 have the traffic. Los Angeles Center, Cessna, November 1738, Bravo, Wait, is touch Cessna, Cessna Skyhawk, one mile northwest of Kilo Hotel, India, India, 1100 feet. Request flight following. Cessna, November 1738, Bravo, Los Angeles Center. Squawk 0135. Generic 24 Papa traffic is 11 and Davos. Clock three miles at 3,700 feet to your DBM 9. Report them in sight. Generic 051 traffic yeah, is come now in Davos. Clock three miles at 4,200 feet generic. Report them in sight. Alright, now we're tuned into Kingman. I want to come in on runway three. Kilo India Golf Mike Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Tree 5 miles southwest 3,500 feet inbound to land runway tree. I might bounce around this area looking for a better airport, but for now we're going to go in and out of here. Because I kind of like having airports that I can, although not having all of the noise is not be a half bad idea for my day to day flights. But I think we are going to have to go up over the mountains here, which is fun to me. So we're going to go up to 5,000 feet. Just so that we ensure that we miss the mountains. Because this Garmin system is being a little bit interesting that way. So once we get back over to KIGM. We might end up picking up a fun little flight, fun little thing that we can fly around and go check stuff out. So we'll have to take a look at what's available for buy when we get up there and then we'll have to check to see what those actually are and then we can kind of bounce around and uh, figure it out all from there as well so I think we'll be okay. So 
we're going to want to be at an angle in a little bit more over to our I must say, this is much more beautiful to fly in than the other place was. I kind of like this. I might end up selling the CJ4 and the Airbus, and we're going to create an FBO of these, maybe a couple of King Airs, or at least a King Air to fly around with. Maybe I'll keep the other ones and just keep maintaining for cost for money wise but I think we're going to go back to doing bush stuff because I like I really like the bush stuff is Cincinnati actually going to win this game and go to the Super Bowl? Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra Golf Sierra two six miles southwest five thousand feet inbound to land runway tree. That's fine. God, that looks beautiful. There's Ford Motor Company Arizona Proving Ground. That's kind of cool. Rolling hills, the mountains, and deserty. I like, I like. Right now, they have an Icon A5, a DA40G, or DA40NG, and a Bonanza G36, a VL3 ASBO. Those are all A-rated planes, as well as a Cessna 152. So there's some options of what to fly, which is kind of cool. We'll have to go into the menus and figure out what is... There's some little town over there somewhere. Cincinnati goes up by three with six minutes to go in the AFC Championship game. Perfection. We're up this high because... Here's what we're going to do real quick. I'm going to throw this over to the full flight assistant. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I will be back in a minute. We're going to AI pilot this thing for a few minutes. And then uh, when I get back, we will take back over and look at it. But until then... We're going to 
gonna go ahead and slap this thing on a external view until I get back. So give me a minute and I will return in a few. So that's good news. All right, now let's pull off our flight piloting assistance. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 1 1 mile southwest 4,800 feet inbound to land runway tree. To land runway tree. Okay.
Hey Hill, if you're still listening, uh, let uh, Thing 3 know that it's five minutes. Okay, I'm going to want to kick it in a little bit. All right, here we go. Thank you kindly. I think that's my airport right there. Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 7 miles southwest 4,900 feet inbound to land runway tree. Ah, there's the airport. Okay. I see the airport now. The biggest change is going to be is figuring out what my altitude, the AGL, my altitude is. So I'm probably going to look that up at some point. You know what? We're going to look that up right now. Um, elevation 3448. Okay, so 3448, which means... Me being at 49, about 1,500 feet above elevation EGL. Okay. Kilo India Golf Mike Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is on final runway tree to land. Nice thing about this airport is that I don't have to fall into traffic and all that because there is no... Hey, bub. How you doing, man? Hey, uh, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I asked this or not, but, uh, what are you studying? I mentioned you were studying for college, but what are you, uh, getting your degree in and everything? I mean, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine, too, if I'm being too noisy, nosy, but... Oh, and while you were gone, the game locked up on me, so I ended up just transporting myself. So now we're flying a Grand Caravan around uh, northwestern uh, Arizona. This is my first time flying into my new home ported um, airport for what I'm going to be using with NeoFly. I think I'm going to end up using this airport. I might end up switching myself off to Albuquerque at some point or a slightly larger airport, maybe Tucson or something that has more air traffic control conversation. Oh shit, I'm like 400 feet above. I'm a little too high right now. But for now, this will be fine. Give me a second for his landing.
Nice. Nice. There we are. Came down a little harder than I wanted to. Is it 361.85 vertical speed? That's eh, not what I wanted to do, but. Yeah, my landing bonus got lost. It's not what I wanted to do. I got 92 for bonus comfort. Oh well. Okay, now. Oops, off. Battery off. Back to main menu. Okay. So we are at KIGM. Flight test plane system 152. Oh, nice. Um, I have a custom built system that I built a couple years ago. So it's a Ryzen 9. Um and I've got an RTX 2070 Super. And no, you're not, you're definitely not asking too many questions. Absolutely not. I enjoy the questions. Okay. So we got the VL3 ASBO, because I want to get a little single engine prop. And we're going to go fly around and do some fun stuff around this area. Um, we'll find out how close up I can get up toward the Grand Canyon National Park. Because I can do some small trip stuff up there. Yeah, it, I, the Ryzen 9, I went overkill on that because I also do, I'm, well, planning on and I'm going to be doing more video editing stuff so i've got the ryzen 9 um 64 gigs of ram the rtx 2070 super i run an ultra wide 1440k monitor and then i have a secondary monitor up above it but yeah no i i really i can actually run this game in ultra mode so my Computer froze somewhere in Colorado, or not the computer, but the game froze somewhere in Colorado. So that was unfortunate. All right, so we've got the Bonanza G36, the DA40NG, the Icon A5, and the VL3 ASBO for sale. Do you have you played using NeoFly before? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I'll return to the main menu. Okay, so we're going to go buy a single prop because the 208 Green Caravan's nice, but I do want a small, a small uh, single prop plane. So, aircraft selection. So we have 
available to us at this particular airport. The Bonanza G36, which is this plane. You know what? Let's do this. So we got the G36, which is, I got to say, as far as Bonanza planes go, is a gorgeous airplane. So that's one that's available. Um, the VL3 Asbo, which is this. Probably not very good for uh, other types of missions and stuff. Okay, Bob. I will be here for probably another couple hours before I'm off for the night. But thanks for coming back over, man. I'll see you soon. So we got the VL3. The Bonanza G36. We have um, the DA40NG, which is this one. Nice little speedy, doesn't have too many passenger spots, but it's not a bad little plane. Oh, thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate it. Um, I will be doing more uh, actual standalone videos. I do stream Monday or Sunday, Monday and Tuesdays, but Monday and Tuesday I don't usually. Well, it's all kind of all over the place, but it's it's either this Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, RuneScape, and occasionally Minecraft. So I'm kind of all over the place with different stuff. That's a beautiful plane. And then the other one is the Icon A5, which I think is down at the bottom of my list. The velocity. Where's the Icon A5? Oh, this one. Not so much on the Icon. I'm leaning toward the Bonanza G36. I have not flown the Bonanza yet. So that could be very interesting. We might buy the Bonanza. Hello, Adam. How are you doing this evening? Let's go ahead and buy the Bonanza G36. We're also going to... Flip back over to NeoFly. We're going to run this out to medium haul. Nope, we're going to go to short haul. Here we go. We are going to hire someone who can fly at least a D-rated plane. So we'll go to crew. We have vapor. You see Glory. Vapor will fly a D-rated. Yeah, I've been playing for a little over a week, and I am absolutely addicted. So, this program here, if you're, since you're new, let me go over what NeoFly is. NeoFly is a, uh, like a career mode add-on to where you can do career stuff, you can pick different missions... You work your way up and you have to rate for multi-engine piston, turboprop, multi-engine turboprop, jet, heavy jet. You do missions to get XP to rank up for better missions. You can do FBO stuff, like all sorts of fun stuff. And when you connect it into the flight simulator, it monitors and then gives you different stuff to do that way. All right, MMCN, it's 76,000. You're at 42,000. This might be a good guy to run. How much is MM50? 69,000. 
67 VIP. We are going to have choose the Grand Caravan and Vapor. Oh, 1326. So now we got a hangar. Grand Caravan. We'll give him 1416 on fuel. Fly by wire Airbus A320. Nice. I like flying the smaller planes. Uh, the biggest one I enjoy flying is the, the CJ4. Um, Cessna CJ4. Oh, I need to set these up too. N0831 until. Oh, no, I have not done my daily RS stuff. What time is it? Six o'clock. I might want to do that off on the end while I'm doing this. Thank you so much for reminding me about that. I should probably do that at some point. Adam Link, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. We are going to now kill this. You fly setup. Save that out. I have an hour. Yes, I know. I'm going to keep an eye to the end of this uh, football game, and then I'll probably put it up on my phone while I'm doing this other stuff, too. Okay. We have that. So now we go back over here. 67,000, choose. Oh, it is only a C rated. Oh, right, because the Grand Caravan's not, the Beechcraft is. Oh, I could have, oh, whatever. You're flying that. Boom, now. We can small trip this. Figure out, let's see, Grand Canyon National Park. What sets me over the Grand Canyon? That is an emergency. Those two are emergency runs. That's an emergency. These guys are... And that flies me pretty close to over the Grand Canyon. To KKNB. 125 miles, 65 XP. Let's fly it. And we're going to be flying it in the brand new Bonanza G36. Homework is hard. What are you studying for? All right. So we bought the G36. We set ourselves up. We are going to be flying over the Grand Canyon. Man, AFC Championship game went overtime. Patrick Mahomes has the uh, the ball first. Okay, so the world map. Flight conditions. Let's flip on online functionality again. Fly and save. There we go. So not that. We are looking for the Bonanza. Bonanza G36. This will be a first flight on the 36. That's a cool livery. From... K-I-G-M. Runway 21, and we are going to KKNB. Oh, that's going to be an hour and 16 minute flight in the, uh, the Bonanza. Woo! That's fine. 
137 nautical miles. We're going to be going over the Grand Canyon. Eh, why not? Flight conditions live. Um, the, the Sunday night rush to finish homework. To runway 19, we're going to go Vore to Vore. Oh, no, we're not. Because that pushes me way out. And I kind of want to do the Grand Canyon flyover. So we're going to go ahead and do direct GPS. We're going to go ahead and fly it. And then we'll connect and fly. Oh, wait. Uh, hangar. Golf Mike Traffic Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf taking off runway 21 West departure. All right, wait. I can't do that. Radio telephony test next month. Super Saturday. Oh, so you are flying. You're going in for flying. I cannot do this mission because that was exceeding my. My bonanza. But they do have another grand caravan here. Nan's a little slow anyway. We're going to go ahead and re-pull. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Cessna 152. I, it's been a dream of mine since I was a kid to fly. But I think I'm a little past that by now. Okay. We are... We're going to go back to the uh, Grand Caravan from KIGM to, what was that, KK, um, Married now, kids now, one is expense, two is, um, there's expense stuff to worry about, there's kids stuff to worry about. Can this game be in PS5? I doubt it. I don't know though, I don't know what's, uh what's released out for this game or not. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go back to hangar. We're going to all that thing. We are going to run this one. Fly. It's a touchdown. In the Bonanza. So we are going to go to Bonanza. To 1G4. 
I don't think Microsoft released this for PS4. Uh, they've done stuff to, to PlayStation a couple of times, but not too much. All right, we are looking at 1G4. Grand Canyon West Peach Springs. 18 minute flight. Oh, that's a, that thing. How long is it in a bonanza? 30 minutes. Oh, that's not terrible. Okay. Manza, we'll use that livery. I'm hoping that it's not too much for it to. Oh, there we go. It's working now. So this one, I have to land soft enough so that I don't accidentally break anything. Columbia Golf, Mike Traffic, Beachcraft, Alpha Sierra, X-Ray Golf, taking off runway 17 south departure. Uh, um, okay, I've never flown the Beachcraft before, so... Steve Hawks Master, Pilot Nav Stroke, this. We're gonna fly hand fly this thing for the most part, I think. I think. I think, I think, I think. We're gonna hand fly it. Alright, here we go. Bengals are about to kick a field goal for the win. Thirty-one yard field goal attempt for the win and to go to the Super Bowl. And it is through the upright and good. Cincinnati Bengals win and are going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, we're going to ignore ATC this one. Yeah, I'm, I've got it on my phone. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm a fan of sports. Mostly hockey. But I really like football as well. The Indianapolis Colts fan, typically. Just won by a, for the field goal in overtime, and they are going to the Super Bowl. The path to the Super Bowl in the AFC no longer runs through Patrick Mahomes.
All right, so we're flying to the West Grand Canyon. All right, let's see if we can't. this 5,000 flight director autopilot Oh, vertical speed. Here we go. Okay, there we go. I think that's... You know what? We're pulling off of this. I'm going to take it back because we are low. The mountains are getting me every time here. So, bangles, huh? Does the uh, NFC game start? The San Francisco and LA game start? I don't know if I like the Bonanza. I think I like the Cessnas because the wings are up above and it gives better visibility. I think I like the visibility of the Cessnas over over the Bonanza. I don't know. Summoning, farming, is it combat? Uh, yes, okay.
Okay. There we go. Now we're up. Still getting used to the mountains and flying in this. Just like the time where friends knew everything about each other, right? Okay. Yeah, with it's for me like small aircraft probably isn't worth the risk once I have multiple kids. As much as I would probably enjoy it, I think that erring on the better side of caution when it comes to risk reward and risk management stuff. I'm not saying it's inherently always dangerous or not, but the risk reward management side of it, I, I think I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep myself to these wonderful little uh, simulators and that might change at some point in my life, but for now that's kind of the way it is. Plus it's, I, I can't afford flight schools right now. Not for it being, it would end up being a hobby. Because flying is not the cheapest hobby in the world. took me a little bit to figure out how the autopilot system works and I'm still not 100% sure on it but it's not bad yeah no it's definitely not cheap hey Jamal how are you I don't have that kind of disposable income So I will utilize flight sim to kind of peak that uh, peak that up a little bit, and I'll live vicariously through vlogs on YouTube and everything else. Ah, not much. Just doing some Neo flight stuff. Just kind of flying around. We're heading to the West Grand Canyon at the moment drop off some stuff there and then we might go fly around and take a look at the Grand Canyon and see what's all going on out there. Takes a lot of sacrifice from you once. Yeah. Well, if I would have done over some of my stuff in my younger years, I probably would have, but, you know. Getting on the same litter tonight as well? Nice. What do you fly? What are we beeping at? What's going on? Why 
is we beeping? Oh, stall warning. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick around in the southwest or not. I might go test fly out in Florida where I was thinking about moving my Neo, so. Yeah, no, I got that. It, I realized it. There's a missile coming for me. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I would probably love that. Uh, Jamal, have you used uh, NeoFly before or just uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well, you fly a DA40. Nice. I'm not sure my size would let me fit the cockpit right now very comfortably as it stands. I know that's kind of a bad argument against, but... I also know that those things are not the uh, the smallest, most comfortable things on the planet either, or the largest, most roomy roomy things out on the planet either. Downloaded NeoFly two nights ago. Nice. Yeah, I've been playing with it um, most of the week. And I really, really like it. Even the Cessnas are kind of small, too. You're slimmer but tall? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm... I'm portly. I mean, that's a nice way of saying I'm a fat ass, but, you know... been playing this for a little over a week I think. Eventually when I get a little bit more comfortable with air traffic control stuff, I'll play with Fat Sim. Um, I'm not a pilot. Never been a pilot. Just very interesting. I'm bodybuilding. <laughs> One of the things I used to like to say is uh, I, I'm, I'm in shape. Round is a shape. But bodybuilding, I'll have to remember that one. That one's good. Bodybuilding. Yeah, I haven't really played with Fat Sim yet. Um, it is definitely something I would like to, to learn to play with. And eventually I would love to play with Fat, with fat Sim. I just haven't... Uh, Pilot Edge helped me a lot with ATC. I'm, I'm kind of learning the vernacular a little bit. I just, like in the last couple days, slowly been figuring out the Garmin systems a little bit and playing with uh, being able to set up autopilot a little bit. That's if you're going to watch your weight, got to get it out where you can see it. Yeah. So I've kind of been playing with that a little bit um, and figuring that out. I completely lost when it comes to IFR still. Like, horribly lost when it comes to IFR stuff. 
Which, I guess, isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... I'm slowly learning. Slowly but surely. Yep, one step at a time. Um, I found a handful of different YouTube videos that have helped me out a little bit. Um, some of it's been trial and error. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf 14 miles south, 6,300 feet inbound to land runway 17. I do that. I'm kind of watching carefully and learning that whole stuff a little bit by a little bit. But yeah, I'll get there. Um, going through as a student pilot is you're forgetful. Ooh. Yeah. I ran into that when I was in the Navy and I worked up on the flight deck and having to memorize a lot of weird stuff. Boy, this thing does not let you go up a little bit. Learn something new and dump the old stuff. Yeah, as, as you rate up for different planes and different systems, you'll end up dumping out the old. You give up old knowledge for new knowledge. You were Navy too? Uh, enlisted or officer ways? AOG3. Oh, nice. Um... ABH. I worked uh, flight deck control, flight two, but most of the time I spent in crash and salvage. Heck yeah. We owe you ain't shit. Uh, there's my landing. G3. Uh, where were you stationed at? <laughs> I heard the amount of times I heard that one. You're in CBN 72. Oh, okay. I was CVN 7.6. 7.2 is... Norfolk and Cali? Yeah, I was on the 76. I was on the Reagan when she was in the shipyards, Newport News, in 03 and 03 and 04. And then we rehomeported to San Diego. And I was on her until... I want to say 09. And then... I went to Federal. Oh, Lincoln. My cousin was on the Lincoln. When were you? Uh, when were you in? I had a cousin who was a fuely on the Lincoln for a while, a couple years ago. Oh wow, like five years ago now. Newport News in 2015. I think he got to. Was he in the Lincoln? Oh, now I'm not sure. Where's this airport at? There's the flashing lights up there at my... All right. 
Yeah, we. I wasn't um, quite a plank owner on the Ronald Reagan. I was like two weeks too late for that. But I got onto her when she was still in the shipyards, uh, when she was getting finished being built in 03. And then I was on her for six years. All warnings. I think I see it now. I enjoyed my time in the Navy. I think I am going to ditch the bonanza up here, though. I'm going to go for something else. Meantime, pitch changes autopilot. Remember to change your speed? Yeah. Beat me to it barely. There's a Grand Canyon. Yeah, I am the best Grand Canyon. Zoomed in and looked to see what direction the uh, the airfields were in. I almost lined it up. I overshot a little bit. that I've got my arms in the opposite direction of where it should be. I've got a X-52, so stick is in right and throttle's in left instead of the other way around, which it should be. So as a student pilot, you're doing all your training in the DA-40? drop this thing down fairly comfortably. Oh, I drifted way off to the right. I need to figure that one out too. Four, 
damn it. I heard it shatter. I land a little too heavy. Oof. Um, was that just what was available or was that like all of my friends who's ever done Two fifty five ninety three. I had to do under two hundred. I broke some. <laughs> um, a lot of the, my friends, they all learn to fly in one fifty twos or something along those lines. Wonderful, thank you. I appreciate that one. Mission failed. Rudders to maintain center line, yeah. All right, well, we failed that mission. Bring up Neil Fly again. So now we're in Grand Canyon West. Everyone's help you stay over the runway. Rudders maintain center line. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was doing wrong. I think we're going to pick up the Skyhawk G1000 again. Hmm. Have all diamonds and one Cessna. You know what? Let's go fly. I haven't flown the DA-40. So let's go fly your plane. Let's just check this out. Uh, hangar. We're going to copy over my custom totally bullshit tail number. We're going to sell the Bonanza because I did not like it too much. Actually... Yeah, we'll fly the, the, the NG. All right, mission. Bush trips around the Grand Canyon West. Colorado River. How is that? 3AZ5? I'll take me down over the Grand Canyon. How's the view down below? on the uh on the DA40 I mean the Cessnas tend to be because they have the the overhead wing You can see pretty well, but I think if I remember right, the cockpit. I don't. I don't have anything. I mine. I am a one hundred percent. Sim. Oh, my setup. Um. I've. The the time the the plane that I've got the the Cessna I've got most time in in this game is probably the Grand Caravan. Um, I have flown the one seventy two with the Garmin, which I might actually do for the trip over. The yeah one seventy two Skyhawk with the G one thousand. But I think I'm gonna run the Diamond. For this mission in Neofly. Take a VIP trip. I think that would be kind of fun. 
All right, let's get this thing set up. But I've flown quite a bit in the uh, the Grand Caravan, and my other one was at 172. I haven't flown the 152 very much. So I've flown between the 172 Skyhawk and the uh, Grand Caravan, the 208. Those are the two that I've flown the most in. Oh, what time is it? Ten minutes. But I kind of want to do this. So, 1G4. Yeah, Grand Canyon West to 3AZ5. And let's hope that 3AZ5 does not have airport. Well, that's wonderful. So now I got to find a different mission. What is this? L thirty seven. My stick setup. Oh, my setup. I've got the uh, X fifty two. Sorry, I'm. My mind just went completely. I don't know what that was. Grand caravans. Yeah, twenty two minutes. That's not terrible. Let me do this and that. And this, and that. Give me just a second. Okay. That's done. No, the only thing I have is... Um, so I have a HOTUS system. So, this is going to go away for a minute. I've got... Let me... Where I can see my camera. I've got the X-2 stick. with the uh, HOTUS. And I know that I've got my left and rights. Like, normally, normally you'd want your uh, you'd want the stick in your left and throttle in your right. But, you know, it's set up and it's crafted for this that's comfortable, so I guess I'm doing all my flying from the right seat. Uh, Hills, I did get my dailies done, by the way. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, let's see. So the X-52 has a twist for rudders. So I do have some rudder control, which is good, I believe. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So yeah, I do have some rudder control. Uh, Peach Springs here, here. You know what? We're just gonna go flying in the in the uh, the forty ng. So it does have the Garmin 1000. Okay. That's good to note. Hey, Hills, how's that food that the kids were cooking coming along? One golf, four traffic, diamond 
Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra taking off runway 35 North departure. Connect and fly this. You didn't need any? What the hell? Yes, it is. to change up something real quick. Give me a second. Made enough just for themselves. Think it's gone? Didn't need any... Okay. So I will make something for us when I wrap this up after this flight, I think. I'm going to wrap this up after this flight. Let me pull this again. Is it going to L37? Yeah. Okay, so when I land, I got to make sure that I land... Lower than 200 FPM feet per minute. One golf, four traffic diamond alpha Sierra, on my descent. Golf Sierra, taking off runway tree, five Otherwise, it'll fail north. me again like it did last time. This thing's got some good view, actually. The wing's not too wide, so it doesn't sweep down too badly. Kind of like that. Let's have some fun, shall we? This thing's maneuverable. God, it's beautiful. Look at that.
let's set this up. I should have set this up before I decided to do this, but whatever. Um, flight director. Pilot on. And that's beautiful. That's in my face. Ooh, that's pretty. When I wrap up tonight, Hills, do you want me to make you something or? Because I could. I was saying when I get when I wrap up do you want me to make you something I can do that. You want uh, grilled cheese? make us eat your grilled cheese when I come upstairs then when I'm done with this flight. I'll finish this flight up. I'll make us some grilled cheese. I won't go quite as crazy with the butter. Um, that way it doesn't give you too much heartburn. Or myself too much heartburn for that matter. I still haven't decided if I'm going to keep my home port out here in the southwest with all the mountains and everything. Or if I'm going to go check out, what I might do is real fast after I'm done with this flight, 
I might go check out Florida where I was looking. And uh, we might rehome port out to Florida. Dude, that is gorgeous out there. Very mountainous. So we'll have tropics and sandy beaches and islands and that might be kind of nice. But this sure is a beautiful flight. I'll give it that. Reds. I remember seeing all this stuff when I was able to visit there at one point in time. I still think that's a trip hill that you and I should go do at some point. Let's go see the Grand Canyon. That's going to be a tiny airport to land at. The L-37. side. What was the other one we were looking at? Naples? stuff at Naples. What is the run from Naples? Ooh, Marco Island.
ですね It's just a s single airline that way. Okay. Naples Airport is APF Oh there it is It might not be a half bad place to launch and out of Yeah, Naples KAPF Let's see what Nav Air says about KAPF Navair says two runways, 6,600 and 5,000. That's perfectly fine. All right. Yeah, we'll head down to Naples. Meanwhile, this is still fucking amazing. Still at the tail end of the canyons here. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I think this will be the end of the south side or the southwest. I think we're going to go to Florida for our stuff from here. Southwest is kind of nice. I'm not sure I like flying around the mountains as much. I think I'd much rather fly around islands and beaches. I could really mess with myself and see what uh, Neofly would do if I went to Hawaii. you can do against San Francisco here.
we doing on this flight? We are coming up to it shortly. Airport list. KEPF is where we're eventually going. But until then, a L37. Ooh, which runway is it? Um, give me a second to look this up. I think it's five. Five or twenty-three. Do I want to come up from the south and go up, or come up and go down? Traffic Diamond Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 6 miles northwest 6,600 feet inbound to land runway 5. Let's see if I can pull it off this time. That's it right there, right? Oh no, that's it right there. Okay. Now we understand where it's at. Alright, now that I know what I'm spotting for. Now that 
I know what I'm spotting for. Lima Tree 7 Traffic Diamond Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 1 miles northeast 5,700 feet inbound to land runway 2 tree. That was a bad idea, Dave. Yeah, I broke the broke it again. Dang it. Yeah, we failed the mission again. Failed in a row. Wonderful. Alright, that's fine. 40. Not sure how I feel about the 40. Alright. Shut this thing down. I did land. I just didn't land very softly. Alright. Let's swap over to... Let's find out first. So we do have a Skyhawk available to us. And a P6. Okay. Let's pop some stuff in. We're going to go check out our new home. And then our possible new home at KPF. Hey, Bub, how are you? Uh, remove. All right, um, we're going to fly in the Skyhawk. I'm going back to the old Cessnas. 172, Skyhawk. And 
we are flying out of KAPF. Naples, flight conditions. Let's go ahead and preset to clear skies. And we'll run right around to just to see what this place is like. Uh, what time is it for you? It is, what is it, 1928? So I am in uh, northeast Indiana is where I am out of. So it's seven, Alpha almost seven thirty. Oh, you Sierra are Alpha in. Departure at runway tree two. Uh, you're in Canada, out in Alpha eastern, hard eastern Alpha Canada, Alpha aren't you? Departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway tree two. I'm trying to think of that's is that two, Nova Scotia? Alpha. No. That would be Yeah, Nova Scotia. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I, it's one of the weird things that I retain a bit sometimes. Yeah, see, I like the, the wing over because I can look down and see. We're just going to have some fun. I always want to see. So Naples does have a full tower. That's good to note because I like that. Yeah, the, what gave it away was I knew that you were, like, ahead of me, and I'm in Eastern Time Zone U.S., so I knew you were ahead of me, but there's also that half-hour time jump as well, and I know there's not very many places in the world that have that little sliver of time jump. This is actually kind of a pretty area to take off and to have for a home base. Oh yeah, infinite fuel would be amazing. So this is the Gulf side of Western Florida. Yeah, I think I like I think I like the ocean side of stuff here. I think I'm gonna like this as a home base more than the mountains. Like the mountains are pretty and all, but they're a pain in the ass to fly through. With any consistency. But yeah, no, it's it's very much Not having infinite fuel is kind of interesting. So there's the airport. Yeah, like flying, like it was cool to go through and see the Grand Canyon and all that. But I think if I'm gonna do this Neo flight, this Neo fly thing, I think that flying around the mountains 
would just be much more of a pain in the Tower ass. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha 700 feet to land. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha Naples Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 wind 276 at tree. Enter left base runway tree 2. Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha wind 276 at tree. Clear to land runway tree 2. 32, so that's coming in from the south. Oh, right, because it's. Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha, acknowledge last transmission. Clear to land runway tree to Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. San Francisco just, Debo Samuel just scored a touchdown for San Francisco. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, having, being at sea level is going to be nice. Too high, heavy of an angle. It's one thing I noticed when I was flying in and out of the other airport too that I was doing a lot of flying at. I would always come in left. Like I end up cutting in way too early. I haven't figured out fully on the turn radius yet. However, that's also partially because I've been flying around in different aircraft, figuring out which ones I like the feel of. So far, the Cessnas aren't bad. I don't mind the Cessnas. This 172, the Skyhawk with the Garmin, is kind of nice. I appreciate this airplane. The uh, the DA forty is a little too squirrely for my liking. Come on, drop her down. Two hundred, one fifty, one hundred. So I remapped Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha turn next tax away. That's where the parking brake is. It's not in the same place as it is in the actual because you fly you said you were flying the one fifty two, right? Sierra Alpha contact ground on one two one decimal six. Decimal six Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha Naples Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha Taxi to parking. Cessna Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf. So is it in a, it's, so it's in a different location the 152 in flight sim as it is in uh, Yeah, I'll just do it here. Screw it. I'll shut down. Let's see, 172 is in, is there. Um, this is just an Back to Maine. Okay, so looks like we are going to be rehome porting ourselves down here. I like the airport, I like the area. So let's go back over to NeoFly. So this is where we're going to be at. Right now, I purchased, what did I buy? 
Hanger. But an X Cub, a uh, PC6, and a Skyhawk. I've got a Grand Caravan still over in out that way. Airborne. My Airbus is still heading out there. My Citation is still heading out there. And my Beechcraft is still heading out there. I will flood those back. Yeah, so instead of having to look at my stuff, I always just kind of... Uh, I always just use whatever on my stick. I've got a button thing. So yeah, Naples Airport will be my new home base. So let's check out small trips. Bush missions. Oh, there's an explorer down here for 131. Nice. Whatever happened here? Hang on. What's going on? Interesting. So none of those match the planes. Let's try getting a grand caravan. Wonder if I have to close and reopen. Let's do that. Let's close and reopen Neofly. Neofly is being a bit of a. Let's try this again. Well, it made a noise, so let's see what Neofly has to say when it finally opens back up. Ah, here we go. Now we're doing all right with it. Okay. My Airbus has landed in Las Vegas. All right, let's do this. Okay, uh, KLAS. We're going to send it back this way. K-L-A-S. Search all. Oh, I need to uncheck and uncheck. Oh boy, come on, come on. Don't crash on me now. We got Carlos Park. Nothing down here at Naples, but we do have into Miami at Miami International. Okay, we're just going to pick one of the ones in Miami International. We need to find one of these that is passengers to fit my Airbus, which holds 174. Okay. 
174 on the passengers. Uh, pay, heading, plan, passengers. There's 140. 173. Here we go. Choose plane. You and you. And there we go. Now my Airbus is flying out this way. We are going to sell this plane. I already own one. Kind of want to pop around in a cub at some point and do some stuff that way. So we've got this one that's going to KIGM. The Beechcraft Air and then my Citation are still on their way to the southwest. Once they get there, I'll pick up missions and have them haul back this way. Where are you going? MCCN. Oh, you should be there fairly shortly, I think. Right? Now oh, you're about halfway. You're going down here to, to Villa, wherever. Cool. Yeah, I might take, run you and take you a mission out over here somewhere, and then I'll fly it back the Grand Caravan. APF is my new home base. My King Air is... Nope, that's a citation, and it's going to 73AZ. So it's... Let's go long haul on this so that it frees this up. All right, so my citation is heading here. Or in that general area outside of Kingman, Arizona. My Beechcraft is heading down here. So then I'll pop the Beechcraft back out to Florida. The citation back out to Florida. The Airbus is currently heading to Miami. And then once the Grand Caravan gets down to where he's going down here somewhere, <coughs> we'll shoot him across Mexico. Maybe get him out to Cancun. If I can figure out getting him out here to Cancun, then I will then take it and fly her back up here. Is there an airport out on Key West? I thought there was. Yeah, there is. Key West International Airport. That might actually not be a half bad airport to... Key West. What's the airport code for Key West? Oh, K E Y W. Um, let's see here. Airport communications. The runway is 5,000 feet, so I could run up and down through. It's grooved asphalt. I could fly in and out of Key West. So what does the bush missions look like out of Key West? What did I say it was K E Y W? Is that what I said it was? Yeah, K E Y W. Lots of search and rescues.
these little small airport things that are popped around. What if I were to do small trips? Illicit cargo missions out into the bay. That's fun. Oh, yeah, we could do uh, down into Cuba and throughout this whole area out here. There's some Nassau. In the Bahamas. You know, Key West may not be that bad. I'll have to fly in and out of Key West a couple of times and see how it how that feels flying in and out of her, but there's Key West Naval Air Station. I don't think the Key West Naval Air Station is open to the public, though, is it? It's still Boca Chica Field. Not private use. Permission required prior to landing. <coughs> So it's still an active. Hmm. I could base myself out of Key West. They've got small jets. I mean, 9 and 27. The question is, do they have... Let's find out. Do they have a full working air traffic control? We'll find out. Maybe yes, maybe no. We'll have to see. Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha ready at runway 27 straight out departure. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha Altimeter 29 decimal 9 2 wind 276 at 3. Straight out departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 27. It does. We could. Key West Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha 100 feet to land. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha Key West Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal minor 2 wind 276 at 3. Make left traffic runway 27. Make left traffic runway 27 Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Oh, uh, vape. Sorry. I kicked my years and years hab smoking habit with vaping. I don't encroach over there to Boca Chica, I should be okay. Boca Chica, that's kind of awesome, actually. Yeah, I like this. I like islands, I like ocean. This will be a fun home base for... Uh, Alpha, Alpha. Wind 276, Clear to land runway 27. Uh, what did you say? Clear runway 27. To land runway 27 Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. I smoked for close to 20 years before I gave it up for vaping. I 
I do appreciate you hanging out with me tonight, man. This is this is fun. Descent. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna land this, then I'll be getting off too. You be safe, man, and we will see you again. Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. Good luck with studies. Good luck with everything else. Safe travels. Fair winds. All that fun stuff. Appreciate you. You have a great night, man. Good night and goodbye. Well, that wasn't so bad at all. Definitely exit better. <clears throat> All right. Well, yeah, I think we're moving everything down to Key West. Decimal Niner. One two one decimal niner Cessna Golf Sierra, Sierra Alpha. Alpha. Key West Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Alpha Taxi to parking. Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Alpha Taxi to general. Floss King, I agree. This is a pretty good game. I enjoy it. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Charlie Alpha Alpha for Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Yeah, Key West is a fun place to play. It's a fun place. I'm going to like Key West, I think. All right, so we're going to swap up and... We're going to figure out the FBO system in NeoFly next. Hopefully next time we run this. Still going forward? You know what? This is fun. Who do I play on? Uh, PC. PC, and then I have uh, the X-52 flight stick system and everything else. All right. So Key West is going to be my new home base. So first order of business is going to be moving these three. So the G1000, the Pallades, and my X-Cub down to Key West, which will be kind of gorgeous. And then I'll start doing stuff, uh, bush trips, FBOs, lots of search and rescues and all that stuff. Activision, hello. You guys caught me just as I was about ready to get off for the night, man. I will next time I play. Um, like I said, I've been on all afternoon for me. And I'm going to be getting off for the night. <clears throat> Should these run? Hmm. 
just out of curiosity. Yeah, sorry about that. Couple thousand? All right. There's some drop zones, some search zones, parachute zones. I will be back on tomorrow night Eastern time, but I'll probably be streaming RuneScape at the time and not this. I will probably be back on Flight Sim uh, either Tuesday night or next Sunday. So that's kind of the plan for the upcoming streams. But yeah, just give me uh, give a sub and turn that bell on. You'll know exactly when I'm going to be on. Thank you guys all for coming out and hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. You guys are the real MVPs. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat some food. I am in northeastern Indiana, U.S. It be cold here right now. The world be cold. <clears throat> okay, Bob. Okay, it's not that cold, I guess. I'll give you that one. I, I, I think you might have me beat. Oh, you're in Europe. Okay, whereabouts in Europe are you, man? Oh, cool. Yeah, it's currently minus 7 degrees Celsius here. But we're supposed to be getting down to the negative 14s or so uh, later this week. Tonight, it's supposed to get down to negative 11. It's like the negatives here. Yeah, it's been the negatives here. It was really cold a few days ago. It was... All right. Time to do the maths in my head, or time to do the maths to figure out this whole thing. Hang on. Uh... Uh... It did get down two days ago. It was negative 20 Celsius. So it's only negative seven right now. It's not as bad as what it was. It's still cold and somewhat snowy. We're supposed to get a snowstorm later this week, but it is eight o'clock my time. I am going to be getting off here. Bub, safe flights. I appreciate you coming out, you hanging out and talk with me. I really do appreciate that. Um, I will be back on tomorrow night. Um, I will be playing RuneScape with my wife, though. So a little bit of a different style of a stream. Um, she and I will be playing RuneScape together. But thank you for coming out. I really do appreciate it. You guys are all awesome. You guys made you guys made some uh, some fun some fun flights and some fun conversation. You guys have a great night. I will be back tomorrow. Be safe out there and we'll see you all soon.